Hi, and welcome to How to d and My name's Frederick Wheeler. Today I am going to discuss ranged weapon attacks. Ranged weapon attacks allow you to attack an enemy with your character at distance. I am not going to discuss thrown ranged weapon attacks because they work slightly differently. There are a number of different ranged weapons available, such as hand crossbows, light crossbows, heavy crossbows, short bows, long bows, slings and blowguns. Details for ranged weapons are on page 146 to page 149 of the player's handbook. Any ranged weapon with the ammunition property must have ammunition available to fire. That means arrows for your bow, bolts for your crossbow, needles for a blowgun, and bullets for a sling. It does not require an action to load your ranged weapon. That means you do not need to use your action, your bonus action, your reaction, or an interaction to actually fire the weapon. If you have one attack you can make with your action, then you can make one attack. If you have two attacks you can make with your action, you can make two attacks. If you have three attacks with your action, you can make three attacks. Ranged weapons with the loading property can only be fired once with your action, bonus action, or reaction, regardless of the number of attacks that you might have. So I suggest that you take the crossbow expert feat. It is on page 165 of the player's handbook. The types of weapons that require loading are crossbows and blowguns. You can spend one minute at the end of a battle collecting up half of the ammunition that you spent. So if you fired three arrows, you would recover one arrow. You can use a ranged weapon if it has the ammunition property to make a melee attack if you want, but it is treated as an improvised weapon attack. It's not very effective to use your ranged weapon to make a melee attack, so I don't recommend it, and in this case I don't have enough time and it's too complicated to explain how to make an improvised weapon attack, so I'll do that in a future video. If you try to make a ranged attack while in close combat or melee range, you will have disadvantage on the attack, primarily because it is hard to be accurate while doing so. What does that mean? You're going to have to take two 20-sided dice, roll both of them and take the lowest result and add that to your attack modifier. Rose will demonstrate for you. All ranged weapons have a limited distance of effect. All ranged weapons have a range factor listed in the player's handbook. In this case I've taken the long bow. So the long bow is listed as 150 feet, that's normal range, and then beyond that it can shoot and be effective up to 600 feet. So here is normal range, shooting your monster. Here is long range. In the case of normal range, you just roll one 20 sided dice and add that to your attack modifier. But if you're trying to shoot beyond normal range, you need to take two 20 sided dice, roll them and take the lowest result and add that to your attack modifier. Here are some examples of how to make the ranged weapon attack. That includes making the attack roll and the damage roll. For this example, I'm going to use the rogue character that I have here. The rogue has a short bow. Its attack modifier is plus 5. It is listed right here. So how do I know that it's plus 5? Well, when I'm going to determine this, I'm going to add the character's proficiency, which on the character sheet is listed as 2. And I'm going to add that to the dexterity modifier, which is plus 3. That gives me 5. So that's how I figure out what the attack modifier is. So I'm going to write 5. I'm going to roll a 20-sided dice to determine whether I actually hit the monster. I've rolled an 18, so I add 18 to my 5, which comes to 23. As long as this number here is greater than or equal to the AC or armor class of the monster, then I have struck my target. If I strike my target, I can roll for damage. So how do I figure out, figure out damage? Well, very simply, I'm going to use the dexterity modifier for my character. Okay, I'm going to add 3, because that's the dexterity modifier for my character. 
A short bow uses a D6 or a six sided dice for damage, so I roll that. I rolled a three. I add that to my dexterity modifier, which comes to six. So I do six hit points of damage to the monster. So what happens if I'm using my short bow in melee? Right up close against somebody who's using a sword. Well, I'm going to have disadvantage. I've already talked about that. What if I'm shooting at long range rather than normal range? I would have disadvantage. My attack modifier for my short bow is 5. I'm going to roll two 20-sided dice. I take the lowest result. The 3 is the lowest result, so I add 3. Comes to 8. That is the attack score, which I now have to compare with the AC of the monster. As long as it is greater than or equal to, it will strike the target. Probably won't strike the target in this case because it is so low. Well, that's everything from me. If you found this video informative or helpful, please share, like and subscribe. Make a comment below if you have any questions on ranged weapon attacks. Until next time, keep rolling those 20s.